When I was in the university, I was reading this book called Angels and Demons. It's written by Dan Brown. I love the book because it is a mixture of fact and fiction. It's also a book about puzzles and riddles. So I was alone in the history department, and two of my classmates came. Hey, Brad, what you reading? Hey, Angels and Demons. Oh, interesting. But I think I'm reading books similar to that one, man. Yeah, it's heaps good. It's also about angels and demons. Yeah, you should keep it. Thanks. No worries, bro. Have a good day. See you guys. I began reading in the evening. I think the first chapter of that book really set the tone of the pacing of the whole book. There was a war, it's called the destruction of Jerusalem. And it's the first time that I heard about that story. And I was surprised the book is written like how Dan Brown writes his uh, books. So I fly through chapter one. But later on in the second chapter, I realized that, wait, this book might be about history itself that I don't know. Those doubts were amplified. And I was thinking, maybe these events written in this book, maybe it's true. So I went to the internet and searched destruction of Jerusalem and then realized it really did happen. Every detail in the first chapter, it's true. And even more in the second chapter and in the succeeding chapters, it is true. What if I'll dig deeper with what my friends' fate are? So I told my parents about this new revelation and faith that I've seen with these friends. But they really don't like it. So what they did is that um, they requested a priest to go in the house. I was 17 that time. I brought the Bible and the great controversy. But then <laughs> he said that don't open the book, don't open the Bible, don't open the great controversy. I know already about the history of the Catholic Church. I know what's written in there. And we admit in the Catholic Church as a priest himself, he admitted that all those things written there are true. He said that it is true. Everything that happened is true. But if your mind won't change when you're 18, you have the right now because you're old enough to decide. So I waited for a few months before I got baptized. Growing up as a Catholic, uh, we regarded the Bible as a relic. It's just a thing that likes magic that will protect you from anything. But because of the great controversy, it opened up the stories in the Bible. That actually, it's not a magic book, but it's a, it has stories of faith of people like me, sinful people who are redeemed, and then Jesus is the Savior. I realized that this world is not our home. There is a much greater home that's waiting for us in heaven. And that home is not just there for 70 or 80 years, but it will be there forever. And what a thought it will be for us to go there and live eternity with Jesus.